a fellow Vault Twitters, it's Angry Turtle, and we have another video about patch 21. And that's because I had like two days to investigate what was actually changed and what wasn't changed and everything, the stuff that's just bizarre and stuff that's supposed to work but it's not working, and the good things as well. We'll talk more about it in this video. As previous video was about the patch notes and I back then I had no idea what will work and how and now I know much more. Although I need to tell you I'm sure that there is more stuff that we'll discover later but I was doing my best and I was doing my research. But before we go into more details allow me to welcome my latest Patreon Robert Allen. Welcome into the Tartus army. Thanks a lot for your support. And now into the details. I was making a notes for myself to do not forget to tell you about anything. As you can probably see on the screen, we are starting from the Zitans shortcut. If you do not know what was the Zitans shortcut, then that was a shortcut to the ceiling in powerhouse, reactor room, whatever you call it. I will show you exactly where it was and that it was actually fixed, patched, like literally patched. There is no hole anymore. Then we're running in here, running to the right. I went ahead and killed those robots to don't have any interference. And here, this piece of the ceiling was missing. You were able to just jump here up on the roof. And now you cannot anymore. In the same time, all other, oops, one turret left. In the same time, all other glitches allowing you to go through the walls, doors and stuff like that are still in the game. Nothing else was patched, but as I don't generally promote glitches, then I will not go into details how they work. Most of you probably already know. Now the second thing, if you are here, this turret actually shoot me, let, let you shoot me a little bit more. Okay. My health is very low. My health is at 13. And if we go into effects, I'm... Am I? Yeah, I'm well fed, then my HP is plus 25. What does mean, this bonus plus 25, usually, like before the patch, if I will move around, then my health, because of Speed Demon, will jump out to this bonus at least. Now, if I move around, even try to sprint like it used to work, Nothing. There is no speed demon half regeneration or in other words, mostly known as life giver speed demon combo half regeneration. It was patched as well. It's not working anymore. And I'm taking way too much threats. Let, let me get out of this place. All right, let's go into some good changes. Did you notice that now actually you can earn more atoms for playing the game without any breaks all the time for a couple of years. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Explore Appalachia for 7,600 hours. It was, I think, 20 or 40 atoms. And now it's 760. Finally, it has some sense. 760, even 76 will be better than whatever was here before. Then this is an upgrade. It will take me like I have two years. Give me like another six years and I will get those atoms. I'm getting there. But as I promise at least 10 years support for Fallout 76, then I have a good chance to get those atoms. And now as you can see, we are outside of the Vault 79 and there is a reason for that. Let's go talk to Rex. Okay, there is Rex, Trade Gold Bullion and what are we looking for? They said that the pocketed and pocketed mod was added for secret service armor. Then we go secret service armor, the pocketed mode. Let's inspect it. Oh no, it's still only armor. There is no limp mode added and it was promised in the patch notes. There is nothing. If I scroll, there is no other deep pocketed. There is no deep pocketed for secret service. I scroll up, I didn't learn it. You can see secret service, what I already learned. I go secret service and then D. There is nothing, nothing on D. Secret service, custom, secret service, jetpack. There is no deep pocketed for secret service added. And quick note to Bethesda, no. Adding limp modes for secret service one by one does not count as new content. 
Okay, that's just a side note for Bethesda. Let's go back to video. And as we are at this stuff, did you notice that Bethesda is adding a lot of immersion into our game? I have one proof. Okay, let me drop this beer. I have this nice duffel bag. Oh, here we go. And okay, let me exit this spy armor. It's clunky and big. Look at this level of immersion. Let's closer. See, if I go over here, I cannot access it. I need to actually catch the zip. You see, you need to open the duffel bag in order to access what's in it. Look how tough fool. Who would think about it? If you try anywhere else, you cannot because duffel bag is closed. Catch the zipper. Thank you, Bethesda. Thumbs up. I'm joking, of course. Now, I will not maybe demonstrate it in here, but you probably noticed that if you are doing events like uh, Radiation Rumble and there's a lot of mobs and other people or maybe uh, at Fort Defiance, you are killing those Scourge and uh, if a lot of meat pies accumulate, there is a terrible lag and frame drop. Like I'm going down from 60 frames to 20 or below 20. Like Mitzi is going down from 48 to sometimes 5 frames and there is terrible input lag in the same time. It's going crazy. You can see it on my live streams when I was doing those events. It's crazy. I don't know what they did, but it was never happening before the latest patch. It's always when there is a lot of meat piles, goo piles, ash piles accumulated. It's terrible lag. It's causing terrible lag. Please Bethesda, whatever you did, just reverse it. I'm afraid it's what I suspect it's the attempt to prevent those meat pies breaking and lose items getting out of them. I don't know if you noticed before the patch around the Scorchby Queen fight. If there was a lot of Scorchby Queen fight after an hour or two later on the server, you were able to find on the ground like weapons from the Scorchby Queen, including legendary, like you could find pieces of Ultra Sight, uh, Scorchby organs, like hearts, stuff like that, all was just lying loose in the grass. Then probably it was attempt to patch it. And unfortunately the side effects are crazy. As well, I want to mention, but I will not go into details, uh, the double-sided walls that people were building into the camps, it was patched, and ability to put the wires through the walls was patched as well, like, it probably should be immersive, but you know what? I can actually, in my real house, drill a hole in the wall and put wire through it. It's not like it requires who knows what. It is possible, it's doable in the real world, and flying camps are less immersive, and that wasn't much if the camps around me are to tell me something. And I will not go more details about building, as I think SH Games already did a detailed video about building and issues with building after this patch, then just check his video if you are interested. And let's take a look on my P-Boy stats and collections. And look at that, I can see my possum badges, tadpole badges, overseas tickets, legendary scrape, gold bullion, caps, everything. Even pair coins that are not even a thing yet, but they show zero because we cannot scrap pair cards to get pair coins. And actually, it's working for me. Let me know, guys, if it's working for you. But from me, Bethesda, you have a thumbs up for that. And this time is for real. I'm not joking. I really like this change. Finally, I can see what I have on me and what I eventually need. Thank you for that. And if you open your effects tab, you can see that even if you have a equip class freak, what you can see because there is only minus one strength, minus one endurance, minus one strength, and suddenly under marsupial, I have minus four intelligence. Luckily, it's just a visual glitch. To fix that, just open your Pip Boy if you want to fix that, you don't need to. And you unequip Class Freak and re equip Class Freak. And then go under Effects. And Marzupial is showing correctly minus one intelligence with Class Freak. But my special is not affected. I had 42, I have 42 intelligence, then it's just a visual. Don't panic guys, it's just visual, it's not a big issue, I just want to mention it, to calm everyone down, 
That's just a visual glitch. It does not affect your special, don't worry about everything is working as intended. Just effect stop is a little bit bugged. And now let's go into the most bizarre stuff. Okay, I'm at disposal site. The one place on the map with highest possible radiation anywhere. Nuke zone is not even close. And now we pop up Psycho buff and we run down there. Oh, just to show you, I'm not wearing any hazmat suit. And what's that? My health cannot drop below 65. I mean, health can, but rats cannot drop it below 65. Like Radroach should be able to. Hello, Mr. Radroach. You see, Radroach is able to kill me. I mean, kill, deal damage. Eventually he will probably kill me. And I cannot use a steam pack. Oh, actually work now. Yeah, sometimes you cannot use a steam pack when you are taking damage, but when you kill, if you are able to use a steam pack, like now it's working, then you can see that steam pack is actually healing me. Even though if you look at the health bar, you can see that on the health bar, like uh, it's looked like I'm getting rats, not damage, but actually I'm not. This 65 health is totally protected from rats, even though you can see it's dropping and it looks like I'm getting more and more rats. If I use a steam pack, my health is going back up. Yep, it's back up. I just needed to move a little bit from this Radroach and he was preventing me from getting my health back. Okay, Radroach, thank you very much for your services. And as we are at shooting shotgun, I like this green glow, by the way. Okay, let's shoot it like three times and the reload. That's a normal reload. You can see it's loading shells. And good news is fireworks are still working. Uh, those fireworks, that's to don't be mistaken. Tray fireworks, the reward from the legendary run. Unequip, re-equip. Now shoot it as well three times. Reload. And that's the correct reload, that's what I understand then. For me, it's not a bug, it's just a limited future for Legendary Run Season 1. And I appreciate, I really have a lot of fun with that. I can use single shot weapons and try the best with them. I like it, I don't count it as a bug. I count it as a positive future and thumbs up Bethesda for leaving it for us. I'm not joking, I like it, I really like it. It's not game breaking and it's a lot of fun. I just hope it's limited. If it's like for forever, then it's maybe too much. But if it's just for season one of Legendary Run, perfect. And now about Psycho Buff, I still have three minutes. Unfortunately, when Psycho Buff will expire, at this moment I cannot heal rats. I cannot do anything. When Psycho Buff will expire, I will be left with zero health and any damage will kill me. If I try to use Psycho Buff again, it will kill me. If I try to use different cam, it will drop me to zero health and then it will kill me. Like uh, you can see if I try to heal those rats, then there is a price for using psycho buff to protect yourself from rats. You can see I cannot do anything. I can stand under this shower. Let me use right away diluted. Nothing. I cannot heal those rats. I'm just, I will be gone when this effect expire. Okay, let me use some cam. Let's pop Calmix. You see what happened? I have zero health, I cannot heal it, I cannot heal those rats, I can try, but I cannot, I cannot heal those rats, I cannot do anything about that. Okay, now the only way to avoid dying, there is one little way to avoid dying, from this point when you are at zero health, you can actually use Psycho Buff and have a new duration, but you cannot refresh it directly by using Psycho Buff. If I will use Psycho Buff now, that would happen. It's instant death. You not don't even go down. You just you are just absolutely dead on the spot. And it took me a little while to figure out what's the way to avoid death. Unfortunately, the way to avoid death it's only to extend your life for a little bit longer. It's not like not too much of the extension. And now let's talk about Scorchby Queen fight. I mean, I will not demonstrate it because there is like. No real point to spend so much time summon Scorch with Queen and show you that you still cannot cripple her. You probably already figured it out. If not, 
then I'm telling you, you still cannot cripple her. And Bethesda promised it will be fixed in next patch. They promised for this patch, now they promise for next patch. Hopefully it will be fixed in the next patch. It's not yet. And about Scorch Beast Queen, there was some change. Did you notice there is some sneaky change implemented? Actually, it's actually probably good. It's hard to tell 100%. You need to decide. I will tell you what's the change. Basically, so far, we had a guarantee. Two-star heavy combat armor piece. Random heavy combat armor piece with random two legendary effects because it was two-star. That was guarantee as an event reward for every event participant. This reward was changed, and at this moment, it's a random two-star item, but it's totally random. It's mystery pick level random, which means you can get secret services, you know the plan. You can have a lot of stuff from this event. Basically, everything that you know the plan for, you can drop as two-star legendary. Unfortunately, that includes, as well, a lot of stuff that you will never need and is way worse than heavy combat armor, like you can get light combat armor, you can get wood armor, you can get rolling pins, then it's something better and it's something worse, you need to tell me if you like this change or not. I will be farming Scorch Beast Queen because the only stuff that I need is like at this moment secret service and compound bones. That's the only thing I need. Well, let me just show you. That's the compound bow that I got on the live stream from Scorch Beast Queen as an event reward. Then I can confirm you can get very rare stuff that you cannot normally get from any mobs. Like it's not dropping from bodies of legendary enemies, but you can get it from Scorch Beast Queen event. And you're supposed to have a chance to get stuff from like almost every event. But I was very unlucky and I cannot get anything good from any other event than Scorch Beast Queen event. Then I can only confirm Scorch Beast Queen event, but I heard about people getting stuff like gold bullion stuff from other events randomly, but chance is very, very low. Then Scorch Beast Queen is a better way to go. And most likely you heard or you experienced it yourself. So far, Tesla had a very big problem. After killing some enemies with it and shooting them too much or doing too much damage on who know what, but for me it was after a couple minutes of the usage, all my ranged weapons were doing zero damage. And now it was actually addressed. I can use Tesla, even the most buggy one, which means bloodied with automatic barrel. That was the most buggy version for me. Like semi auto, I was able to use for sometimes 30 minutes. But this one, couple minutes. Sometimes first couple mobs and it was bugged and all my range weapons were doing zero damage. It is fixed now. Let me demonstrate. I can shoot with that and kill stuff on myself. In the same time, I heard from people that Tesla Arc is doing slightly less damage than it used to, but I cannot confirm it or deny it. Because basically, due to the damage bug, I wasn't using Tesla too much. And I'm spec for heavy guns here. I'm not spec for uh, rifles, commando weapons. Then for me, damage is okay. I cannot complain. And the most important part, it's not bugging out. And in case of Tesla, it was always a team-based weapon to play and to be able to tag enemies when someone else was killing them. Then... That's a huge plus that we can use it for that. And as you can see, I keep doing damage. I'm not bugging out. Normally, if I will like shoot more than two ghouls at once, it will bug out. Let me demonstrate on group of ghouls. Okay, I have a couple ghouls in here. That was usually enough for my Tesla to bug out. Okay, let's see if we can kill them without bugging out my weapon. Just full blast. Full magazine. And I died. Let's see if my weapon's still working. Oh, and by the way, uh, death will not fix this bug if this bug happened, but I think it's not possible for it to happen anymore. At least what I hope for. Uh, the only way to fix this bug in the past was to relog. Then if I can still do damage, then this bug is fixed. I can do damage, I just kill a ghoul. This bug is officially fixed. Let me know if it works for you, but it looks that it should work for everyone. And I was 
I had this bug all the time if I tried to use Tesla before. And now, some stuff that's bizarre again. Did you notice that your Barbarian King emote disappear if you are using it? Did you wonder where it goes? Okay, open my quick wheel. What's that? Me expand that. I can have this or empty one. Let's use the empty one. Oh, that's my Barbarian King emote. It's just blank now, but it's doing the same animation. That's really weird. I don't know if I appreciate this change. I really like this emote and how it looked like. Apart from the animation, emote was really nice. Please Bethesda add it back. I hope it's a bug. And if we are about stuff that's just bizarre and who knows how it happened. I didn't discover it myself, but someone told me during the live stream. Carlton Mine, that's a new mine added with Wastelanders that a critical place if you want to complete a quest line with raiders. There is kind of a problem now. Okay, let's go check out what's going in the mine. Oh. Did my interactive button just went grey and nothing happened? Yes, that's true, you cannot enter this mine anymore. It's not accessible and that's actually a huge issue if you need to do quest inside. Because just you, you just can't. Then you are stuck. Raiders quest line? Not available at this moment. No way. Let me try again. Step back. Go in. Nothing. Try your luck, guys. Let me know if any one of you can enter the Kelton mine. Now, good news. We did Project Paradise and, surprisingly, we are able to fill up all three feeders in Habitat A, B and C one minute 30 seconds before time ran out. What's meant that one minute faster than we were ever able to do it. And we we're either incredibly lucky or they actually did something that is event works better. The food spawn more frequently. I guess there was some chance, there is small, small, tiny chance that we we're incredibly lucky, but I was doing this event a lot and beat the high score, but like one minute on loading phase doesn't seem possible. And it was adventure server, it wasn't a private one, it was adventure server. And generally the whole event went faster than ever before. Yeah, try it yourself guys and let me know if it seems smoother now. It definitely is for me. And that's about everything. Uh, I will maybe at the last point tell you that indeed adrenaline is fixed. This perk, this incredible perk is fixed, is actually working. It's just to avoid any questions about it. It was in patch note and it is actually working as stated in patch notes. If you know about any more changes that happened, like stealthy changes to the game that happened with patch 21 and were not listed in patch notes or were listed in patch notes but did not happen, then definitely let me know. I want to know about everything that's going on with this game. And do I think that patch 21 was good or not? No, it's, it wasn't good. That's my opinion. But will it stop me from playing the game? No, I still have a lot of things to do and I still have a lot of fun. Therefore, I keep playing and I hope that next patch will be way better than this one. And that's about everything I wanted to say. And now, as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.